Hello, my friends. I have two books for us today. Um, this one is one I love to wear to read in the winter. And I thought you guys might like to read along with me. Um, it talks all about the things that we wear in the snow. And while we don't have snow right now, it's kind of chilly outside. So let's read The Jacket I Wear in the Snow by Shirley Neitzel. I like this book because there's a lot of repetition in it and it has pictures so that you guys can read along. The jacket I wear in the snow. Now the pictures are by Nancy Winslow Parker and they're very important in this story. So I'm glad to give her a little credit there. This book is read with permission of Green Willow Books. This is the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the stocking cap for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red. That's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. These are the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the stocking cap for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the sweater all itchy and warm that meets the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the, let's just call it a hat, the hat for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. These are the jeans stiff in the knee. Anybody have jeans? I actually am wearing jeans right now. See them? There they are. These are the jeans stiff in the knee that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the hat for my head, that matches the scarf, all woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Ooh, what are these? Boots. These are the boots too big for me that cover the jeans stiff in the knee that go under the sweater all itchy and warm that meets the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the hat for my head that matches the scarf woolly and red that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Whoa, this is long underwear, bunchy and hot, that's stuffed in the boots, too big for me, that cover the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the hat for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh my goodness. These, what are these? You guys know what these are. These are our socks. 
these are the socks, wrinkled a lot, that are pulled over the long underwear, bunchy and hot, that's stuffed in the boots, too big for me, that cover the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the hat for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh no! These are the tears that fell from my eyes that dripped on the socks, wrinkled a lot, that are pulled over the long underwear, bunchy and hot, that is stuffed in the boots too big for me, that cover the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the hat for my head, that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck in the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh my goodness, let's see what happens. Uh, that bird doesn't seem to be being much help there, does he? Hmm. This is my mother who heard my cries and wiped the tears that fell from my eyes and loosened the scarf, woolly and red, and slipped off the stocking cap from my head and unpinned the mittens that hung from each arm and unbuttoned the sweater all itchy and warm and unzipped the boots too big for me and straightened the jeans stiff in the knee and smoothed the long underwear bunchy and hot and pulled up the socks that were wrinkled a lot. When she unstuck the zipper of the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh, and look, she's gonna warm up. Oh, is she trying to give a treat to this kitty cat under the table? Hmm, I hope you guys enjoyed the jacket I wear in the snow. Now, the other book that I have for you is a shape book. And I thought some of you might really enjoy this. This is called Round is a Tortilla, a book of shapes. See how the tortilla is round like a circle? Mm -hmm. Round is a Tortilla, a book of shapes by Roseanne Greenfield Thong, read with permission of Chronicle Books. Round are sombreros. Round is the moon. Round are the trumpets that blare out the tune. Round are campanas. So the whole thing is not round, but the bottom part is round and the campanas that chime and ring the bells. Round are the nests where the swallows sing. Round are tortillas and tacos too. Round is a pot of abuela's stew. I can name more round things. Can you? Do you see more round circles here? Maybe that window and there's a pot up here. What other things do you see that are round? Oh, the stove top is round. The burner on the stove is round. Square are the letters. We know them well. Square is a board game to help us spell. Have you guys ever played this game? This is Scrabble and my children love to play Scrabble. So does my mom. Square are ventanas. See the square window that give us a view. Square is my clock and my photos too. You see the squares? Square is the park 
and the Zocalo. See the Zocalo? Square is a fountain from long ago. How many square things do you know? It looks like this park is a square. Maybe some buildings, although I think I see a lot of rectangles. We're going to talk about rectangles now. Rectangles are carts with bells that chime and cold paletos, paletas, sorry, cold paletas in summertime. Stone metates inside our casa help us grind our corn to masa. Have you ever seen this rectangular stone to, grown, uh, to grind corn into masa? Rectangles are flags that fly above the scoreboard. That's another rectangle way up high. How many rectangles do you spy? Oh my goodness, I think some of these buildings are rectangles and maybe some of those windows. And look, here's a rectangle. Oh, lots of rectangles. And look, there are, is a diamond shape, the baseball diamond. Triangles are crunchy chips for guacamole and other dips. See the triangle? It's got three sides. One, two, three. Triangles sail on the breeze. Oh, look at those triangles. They line the shore and glide on the seas. And I noticed there's a triangle on this tent and there's a triangle up here on top of this. Look at those triangles. Triangulos, right? Sandias chilled in tubs of ice. Oh, watermelon. Quesadillas by the slice. Look, those are triangle shapes. Triangles can beat the heat. What other triangles can you eat? Well, sometimes we cut our sandwiches in rectangles, but sometimes we can cut them in triangles. Or pie. Pie is often cut in a triangle. Or cake. Mm. Oval is my favorite locket, a special pebble in my pocket. See that shape? I find ovals at the store. Huevos, eggs are over, uh, oval shape, olives, and beans galore, oval shape. Can you name a couple more? It looks like there's an oval on the label of that bottle. Maybe some oval shapes back here. Sometimes tomatoes are circles, but sometimes they're ovals. Kiwi, kiwi is an oval. Stars for parties, stars for light. Lining streets with colors bright. There are so many shapes wherever you go. How many more shapes do you know? Was kind of fun. I love all the different shapes in this book. I hope you guys enjoyed our Round is a Tortilla, a book of shapes. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed our books. I will see you next week. Take care. Be safe. Bye, guys.